the hereafter 25. It is important to note that one will only enter paradise through the mercy of Allah, the exalted. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 5673. This is because every righteous deed is only possible through the mercy of Allah, the exalted, in the form of knowledge, inspiration, strength and opportunity to do the deed. This understanding prevents one from adopting pride which is vital to avoid, as only an atom's worth of pride is needed to take a person to hell. This has been warned in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 267. In addition, a Muslim must understand that this mercy of Allah, the exalted, in the form of righteous deeds, is in reality a light which one must gather in this world, if they desire to obtain a guiding light in the hereafter. If a Muslim lives in heedlessness and refrains from gathering this light in the world by using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the exalted, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, then how can they expect to receive this guiding light in the hereafter? All Muslims desire to inhabit paradise with the greatest servants of Allah, the exalted, such as the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. But it is important to understand that simply wishing for this without action will not make it come true. Otherwise the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, would have done this. Simply put, the more one strives in learning and acting on the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the closer they will be to him in the hereafter. If one chooses a path other than his in this world, then how can they possibly end up with him in the next world? In addition, Islamic teachings make it clear that paradise will be granted to those who supported their verbal declaration of belief with actions. So one must never be fooled into believing otherwise. The one who fails to practically support their verbal declaration of faith should be more concerned with leaving this world without their faith, as faith is like a plant which must be nourished with actions, otherwise it may well die. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 32. The ones whom the angels take in death being good and pure, the angels will say, Peace be upon you. Enter paradise for what you used to do. The greatest blessing of paradise is physically observing Allah, the Exalted, which is discussed in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 7436. If a Muslim desires to obtain this unimaginable blessing, they must practically strive to achieve the level of excellence mentioned in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 99. This is when one performs actions such as the prayer, as if they can observe Allah, the Exalted, overlooking them. This attitude ensures one's persistent and sincere obedience to Allah, the Exalted. It is hoped that the one who strives for this level of faith will receive the blessing of physically observing Allah, the Exalted, in the hereafter. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com